Discord's music bots are coming back. Well, one of them, Rhythm. If you didn't know, back in September 12th, 2021, YouTube forced the popular Discord music bot Rhythm to go offline. And just a couple weeks before that, Groovy, another Discord music bot, was victim to YouTube's legal department. Both of these Discord music bots received a cease and desist letter, which basically means stop what you're doing or we're gonna sue you. Now, looking at the Rhythm website, it's a little bit of a graveyard. It shows you, oh goodness, the history recap of what happened. Everything came to an end. Talk about the music bot, but I think the best part is they say that they're launching in 2023 with a beta program. Yeah, right. But one day I was on my phone, on the toilet, I was pooping, and I saw this tweet, and it changed everything. From Discord previews, remember when you used the Rhythm Discord bot to share music, it got shut down and all that stuff? Well, Rhythm is coming back as the first third-party voice call activity. You know when you join a voice call and you can do all these activities and stuff, like, oh, you could watch YouTube. YouTube. You could play some golf, or you can teach kids how to gamble. Well, Rhythm is going to be slotted somewhere in this big list. Now, how does this Rhythm activity look? Well, unfortunately for me, I'm both an idiot and too slow where I couldn't get footage of the activity, so all of the things that you're about to see is provided by Discord previews, and I'll have their Twitter, Discord server, and YouTube channel links in the description. Thank you guys very much for allowing me to use this footage. But this is very close to the YouTube Watch Together activity. You get this nice little interface, and you can add music and you can play music. You can like a song and it'll be added to your like songs section where you can just pick all your favorites. And you also have a radio station with a very vast selection of artists. We have pop hits like Charlie XCX. We have chill like Charlie XCX. We have Latin like Charlie XCX. We have classical just like Charlie XCX and J-pop just like Charlie XCX. Now, this is a music app, so you do have playback and audio controls. It's, it's, it's not that bad, thank goodness. But we have this queue system where you can go through your songs and you can click plus on a song and add it to the queue. Now, honestly, this is already way better than Spotify because Spotify added their new little plus button. I have no idea what it does. It's confusing. But when you add a song to the queue, it shows up right here and you can see who added the Baby Shark dubstep remix bass boosted. It was me, of course. But on the far right here, you see a little bit of a history log and you get to see who added or removed or rearranged the cue. You can see what song is now playing and you can also see who skipped the music track, which makes it easy to yell at the friends who really ruined the vibe of the classical Charlie XCX. So yay! All good, right? Wrong-ish. There is supposedly a free and premium version of this. You need to have premium to add songs to the queue, and the free version has a time limit. We don't really know how long it is. Hopefully it's long, but work in progress. And half of you are in absolute rage right now. I want my free music! But dog, they gotta make money somehow. They gotta pay for the developers, they gotta pay for the hosting, and they have to pay for licensing the music. I had to pay money to show you the stock footage. That money has to come from somewhere. Now, after this tweet blew up, Rhythm basically said, oh, she, and then they closed everything. But there is a little bit of speculation going on, and it's that Rhythm might be using a new thing Discord's been cooking up in the kitchen, iframes. So what are iframes. So I looked at the first search result of Google, and this stuff makes no sense, but thankfully there's a photo that I can pretend I know what I'm talking about. An iframe is basically where you can add a website directly into an app. It's a little box that contains a website. And once again, how do I know this? It's from Discord previews again. They, they, they're they a fantastic source. But as you can see, interaction iframe modal title, subdomain not found. This thing's in development. But people have been theory crafting a couple of ideas with Photoshop. Like for example, this could be used with like bots that have video notifications that embed the video directly into the pop-up so you can watch it directly in Discord. Or if you use my absolute favorite website, that was sarcasm, top.gg, you can vote for your bot or your server directly in the Discord app. Or your favorite bot developers on the planet could implement the most unique and definitely not ripped off game directly in this iframe. Let me make it super clear, these are all concepts. Me6 has not been working on making the dinosaur jump game from Google. But also, if you think about it, these iframes could be used to show you survey scam websites that I talked about in the last video. Or maybe it could lead you to a Discord login page, which actually isn't a Discord login page. It's a fake login website that will steal your account. This is going to be disastrous. Whoa, 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 okay. We gotta take a step back for a second. Discord is just starting to work on this tool. The dude who invented the wheel was like, yes, we'll use it for the wagon. We'll go on the wagon. Homeboy wasn't thinking, yes, these wheels will work perfectly on my 
Chevy Silverado death machine while it obliterates a car filled with a small family of five. That made zero sense, but basically there's a lot of potential for this. People have some really good ideas, but Discord is going to take it slow. There does need to be development to go from your little wagon all the way up to your Chevy Silverado that did murder a family of five. And some good examples that Discord is taking it slow is first off, the iframes are, and I quote, heavily sandboxed, which is good. And it seems like Discord is most likely going to make this only approved manually. This means that little Timmy, little Timmy that's trying to scam you, won't be able to force you to complete one of these awful Discord surveys so they get one single dollar. Man, they always stoop so low. Anyways, that's all Discord gamers. Subscribe if you have no e-girls. You're forced to, because I said it. Anyways, bye-bye, love you. Mwah.